A few years ago, a group of scientists discovered by chance a new blue pigment. It was made from oxygen, manganese, indium and yttrium. Maybe you're looking at the screen and thinking, nonsense, I already have all the colors here. But if you go to the screen and out of the natural world, everything around you needs pigments to have color and they are not so easy to get. Organics are often very expensive and fade over time. And inorganics can have toxic elements such as the mercury and lead you find in most reds. Blues are especially hard to come by because they are usually very unstable. In fact, the last one before this was discovered 200 years ago. This blue, in addition to being stable, is highly reflective. So if you use it to paint a building, it will be naturally cooler and the cooling costs will also be cheaper. If you still think this is not for you or this is just for industrial or artistic use, think about the next time you see your little brother or son or grandson with a toy in his mouth. Would you prefer to be painted in toxic cobalt blue or this blue? Hmm? It is made from oxygen. 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 Oxyg